Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're here with Alex. And this is his beautiful 2000 Four Winds Fun Ship. It's a very uh, unique name. But the engine that we're going to be working on is called the Volvo Penta. And this is the, I think it's a 7.4 liter. And uh, we're going to be doing the gear lube right now on it. So we're going to be using the 100% synthetic gear lube, AMS oil, 7590 gear lube. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. That way you can come back and watch all this important information for your boat later. All right, so I already sprayed the uh, prop nut with the MP metal protector. So Alex should be able to crack it loose. Let's give it a shot. We might need the breaker bar on her. Let's see, we'll get the breaker bar. Oh, we got it. Money. The penetrating oil worked. Awesome. And plus he's got some weight behind him too, <laughs> which is good. So the MP, this penetrates rusted screws, um, anything with corrosion. So we got that coming off. And we can just throw that down on, or we can put on the, up in the thing there, that's good. And now we're gonna try to wiggle this off somehow if you wanna use some paper towels or whatever. Oh, should come off like butter. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Or literally like that. That is like a piece of cake. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So they, whoever last did this did a great job. And so now when we take this off, I wonder if we need a special tool to spin that. That might be the special tool. See that? Yep. So let's find the tool. We'll be back. We're gonna quick nail her with the MP metal protector. And then to get this off, we actually have to put it in reverse. So Alex will go back and switch it from drive to reverse. And then we just cracked her loose. So we got the right tool for it. This is specific to this model. It's the Volvo Penta. And uh, that is the exact tool. So you can get that kit. That kit probably costs 30 bucks online, something like that. And uh, we got it at a, lo a local prop shaft. So we're gonna take that off. We'll clean out our, uh, our oil bin so we can look at the gear lube. And we'll go ahead and plop her in. All right, so this slipped off like butter because it was really well greased. So uh, we didn't need a puller or nothing. And now all we do is come here and I think this little Allen key. So we're gonna find out what size Allen key. We're gonna crack her loose and drain her down. Again, we're gonna go ahead and penetrate it with our MP metal protector. This is a really good penetrating oil. We go ahead and just squirt her up a little bit, get her all nice and lubed. Let it sit for a minute and it'll be time to crack her loose. All right, time to drain her down. Alex is gonna go ahead and pop our, our dipstick up top, so he'll take that off. And you can set that up top if you need some towels. I got some towels here, you can just set it there. And uh, this is very easy. It's a uh, 14 millimeter to get into that, and that's where the gear lube goes. And it goes down into these gears, and it goes into the prop shaft. So now we got the Allen key down here, the Allen key is about, what does that look like, like an eight millimeter or something? Something like that. Sure. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and crack her loose. We got her, we just tapped her very lightly between the penetrating oil so she came off nice. And then uh, we can finger loosen her once it gets to a certain point and then we'll just yank straight out. And I think we're gonna be dropping what, about two and a half quarts? I think so. Uh, so you've had it for how many years, Alex? 12. And have you ever done the gear lube? I have it. I brought it to a shop before. All right. So it's been done a couple years ago, probably. Yeah. All right. So we'll see what it looks like after a couple years and should be interesting. The very first boat in the channel. Thanks to Alex. <laughs> we finally got one. The seal looks good. Wow. That O-ring looks really good. Can probably almost get it by finger and then just one smooth yank out there she blows oh yeah look at that look at that oh yeah eight millimeter beautiful eight mil awesome so the little the little bolt is a uh, eight millimeter allen key and we're gonna let her drain Don. Once she stops draining, it'll be time to go ahead and, well, 
squeeze her in with the easy pack. So we got our 3 8 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop off this little cover and that's where we're gonna fill her. So we're gonna go ahead and just penetrate her a little bit. Just give her a little splooge. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. She should crack loose like butter. Alex is on the quarter inch. Three eighth. All right, little three eighth. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's that time to prep our easy pack. So Alex has the easy pack. This is the 100% synthetic gear lube. And he's gonna puncture that top little seal up there. And then we, uh, we just trim our cap too. And, and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty easy. And the easy packs, they hold 1150 pounds. So you don't have to worry about bursting one or something like that. And then you got the little loops on them, which make them super easy to hold, which is great. You know, you don't, it's, you're not going to drop it. If you're doing something, fumbling around, it's nice. And now he just trimmed the little tip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and squeeze in a little bit. looks like we're just going to fill it from the dipstick hole and we'll squeeze in until it starts to run clear because Alex ended up getting a lot of extra um, gear lube. So he's just going to squeeze in. I would say squeeze half a pack or something. And we'll see if it starts to run a little bit more clear because that was pretty rough looking. And, uh, you know, the gear lube is good to do every season at the end of the year before you're done uh, with the season all you do is change your gear lube so when it sits over winter it sits with fresh lube and that way it doesn't pit the metal gears um, the seawater or lake water doesn't corrode anything and uh, that's looking good it's, it's gurgling out tell me when you get through about half a pack that's, already, yeah. that's good that should be fine so we're going to let that gargle out a little bit and then as that comes out we'll uh we'll cork her up and then it'll be time to fill her all the way up so alex and i we took a look at the o-ring it looks really good we're not going to replace that rubber seal and uh once she drains down we'll cork her up a little hardware stuff like linkages you can hit that with the mp metal protector that will drive out moisture and it'll also keep it from corroding and stuff like that all your little hardware screws and it's a penetrating oil so that's it. All right, she looks pretty darn good. You can see on the edges, it's running a lot clearer now. So we're gonna just cork her up and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fill her up. We're gonna torque her down pretty light. A lot of this is aluminum. You don't wanna strip your bolts. I would do, you know, like an eight millimeter Allen key. I would do 12 pounds of torque, something like that. And that's it. Extra due diligence. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease on and uh, splooge it on. We'll be putting the props back on. They go on very straightforward, very easy to put on. They slide on like butter. We got this tightened up to about 12 pounds of torque. That's all our gear loop, so you could see exactly uh, what it looked like, just so you know. And I'm not really seeing any metallic, but I definitely know uh, it's definitely oxidized, and that's what happens when you get water in it, especially if you have salt water. So, uh, you know, you can do oil analysis if you want to, the best thing on something like this, you just do it every season and you don't have to worry about it. Awesome. Here we go. He's going to slip it on. First prop going on. Came off like butter. Should slip on like butter. Beautiful. We're going to use the tool to tighten her down. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Awesome. And then on this shaft, I would go a good 100, 150 pounds of torque. So I can get that out of there for you. Get that out of there. But I will have to stop it to put it in gear. All right. Yep. So to tighten it all the way, yep. we'll have to put it in we gear. we have to put it in gear. And then we're going to tighten her up about 100, 150 pounds. Last prop going on. Should slip on like butter. Oh, yeah. Money. Money. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that'd slip on like butter. Beautiful. Looks good. All right, so Alex just got done putting it back into uh, what was it, forward? Uh, reverse now. Reverse now, and that way we can torque it without it spinning. So you always have to switch from reverse to drive for every prop you uh, tighten or loosen. So he's going through it. Now you can get some body weight into it. It was probably about what, 100, 150 when you took it off? Yeah. Something like that. 150 pounds of torque. and. Awesome. Good to go. Looks good. We got our GL5 gear lube, and this is the 100% synthetic. It's got special additives for water contamination, and uh, this is the 100% synthetic. This is the same gear lube that uh, Bobby Unser used in his hill climb car. So we're just going to get a good tight seal and just let her drain in. We'll start out with one pack and then we'll uh, check our level. gonna take some time it's pretty tough because it wants to gurgle over <laughs> wow. Weird. She's a squirter. She is a gargler, man. A weird angle. So that's why you want to fill it through here because it, I guess it lets the air in so it's easier, I'm sure, but I guess we're already halfway through so we'll just stick with it. This is the uh, 7 4 liter Volvo Penta engine. We're going to be doing the oil change with the 1040 and this is the synthetic and well, we're going to start by pumping her out. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap the notification bell to be able to come back and watch all this important information for your vehicle later. All right, the first thing we can do is a engine flush. However, we're not able to because we don't have a water tap, but no big deal. If you have one, you can do that on your boat. You put the engine flush in and you idle it for 15 minutes. And what this does is it gets all the sticky uh, carbon off the lifters. It helps with the valves, get stuff off the rings and it's a very, very thin detergent, thins out the oil, so the oil will actually come out a lot quicker and you just idle it for 10 to 15 minutes. So if you have a car or a boat engine, definitely recommend it to do it. Uh, today we're just gonna suck her out, fill her up, and it'll be uh, time to see how she runs. We'll have a follow-up video, so definitely uh, subscribe. All right, this is our first oil change sitting down, so we got a, a West Marine uh, pump here and this thing uh, holds, uh, what is it, about seven quarts. Little hand pump, uh, West Marine, so we're just gonna keep pumping. We got the seal here, there's a rubber gasket in there so it seals perfectly, and then this hose is pretty thick. And we'll just keep pumping her up. And then we can relieve the pressure with this little valve here, and that's so you don't overflow. So you don't wanna overflow it, uh, so we're just gonna bring her up to here. We'll dump her out, come back up, and uh, finish her up.
And there she goes. All right, we got a gargler. So that's how you know she's completely uh, empty. Pretty cool the way the uh, tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the oil pan. So it looks like we got about, it's looking like about, what, three quarts or two quarts there, something like that. Was it, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, take 6.9. So what do we take out, about seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine quarts, yeah. Looks like we had about nine quarts out. So we'll be putting in, uh, we could probably put in like eight and a half motor up, see how she looks and check her dipstick, let it drain down and we're good to go. Alex is down there wrangling an alligator and he's getting the oil filter. Just pull towards you, I think. I think that's loosening, I think. Is it? That should be, yeah. So we got the good oil filter wrench and uh, it's a hundred and about eight degrees here today. So we're both, I'm crying with the heat. So uh, yeah, I think, yeah, go that way. Yeah, that way you should get it. You should get some good leverage and go towards the bottom with all the flat spots right there. Yep. You just can't get down because all this. Yep, see if you can shove. Yeah, and then pull towards you. Wow, is that a stickler? <laughs> That's a, a stickler. <laughs> There she, all right, you're cracking her. Yep. Is it? You're getting a little movement, yep. Yep. I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so it's been on there for, I think, two years. Two, three years. So it's definitely gonna be a stickler. We're gonna wrangle this alligator together. We'll be wrangling the alligator. We got her. Alex got her off here. And uh, it was a killer. It's like, uh, you just gotta wear it out. And he's in there in the teeter-totter. He's hanging in there. About 107 degrees out, 106, and we're just making it. We're getting it through. So we're gonna lube up our fresh filter over there in the corner. We're gonna be putting in our really, really good uh, 1040, which is a great uh, intermediate weight without being like a race engine, a 50 weight. And then it's not a super gas mileage oil like a 30 weight, so this is right in between. Tons of protection. And this is actually the original viscosity Amsoil came out with back in 1972. The API certified was basically a 40 weight. And uh, that's the very first in synthetics. And you'll see all the API certifications. This meets and exceeds all those specification. And it will not void uh, any of your warranties. And uh, this is gonna be good for uh, about double your OEMs. Uh, the biggest, weakest link will be the filter. So we're gonna lube up our filter if you want to grab that and you can go ahead and uh, we'll pour in a little liquid gold on her we'll crack her loose here and uh, we'll start filling her up and you okay Alex yep all right I don't want you to get heat stroke yeah so we cracked open a nice fresh quart of liquid gold we'll go ahead and just pour her in here oh yeah look at that go so we're gonna fill her about three quarters, get the threads good. Oh, there she blows. Now she'll settle down and it'll soak into the medium. And then uh, Alex, if you wanna delicately finger those threads without cutting yourself, and you can also wet the rubbers, okay. just watch how much overflows. So just take your fingers, hit all the rubber O-ring. Yep, get all that nice and light. Get all around the sides. And look how delicate he is of one finger, that's good beautiful and now she's ready to thread on and if you spill a little bit it's okay it's no big deal if it ain't messy it ain't fun and if it ain't fun it ain't messy <laughs> so we're gonna thread her back up we'll torque her down to about uh, about 15 20 pounds of torque just hand tight and uh, that's it and we'll be back to uh, change that filter the OEM requirement uh, recommended on that filter is about 50 hours so we'll probably change that filter at about 30 hours because all the carbon is actually going to get loosened up from the really good uh, synthetic with the detergents in this 
and it's going to get all that crap around the rings out and it's going to end up in the filter. So usually I definitely recommend um, flushing it, but since we don't have a water tap, no point in overheating nothing. So uh, we'll fill her up here and we'll motor her up. All right, and this is the filter we used. Amsoil doesn't make a filter for this engine. And uh, the good thing is it's very close efficiency to the Amsoil filter. The Amsoil filter is uh, 98.7. This is 97, so still a very good filter. And uh, the OEM recommendation, you just change the filter at uh, 50 hours of operation. All right, Alex has the honors of pouring in the liquid gold. Here it goes. That's the other portion of the quart we put filled the filter with. Ah, the satisfaction of changing your motor oil. It's better than painting the Mona Lisa. Give you your second quart. There it goes. Boom. So this is your first time, Alex, right? Doing your oil change? Yep. So if, if we had the, the pump here and we had all the tools, how hard is it, would you say? Uh, maybe a 3 out of 10. So pretty darn easy. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put in about 7.5 quarts. This holds 8 quarts. We're going to put in 7.5. Motor up, make sure she looks good. We'll check her dipstick and we'll be good to go. All right, and then when Alex gets out on the water, he's going to give the uh, quick shot a try. This is the fuel additive for your ATVs, UTVs, uh, dirt bikes, really, really good. This cleans the injectors, cleans uh, carburetors as well. It's also a stabilizer. And uh, this is about the best you're going to get for keeping all that clean. Also cleans the uh, combustion chambers, gets all the carbon deposits off and uh so that'll be used later so right now i guess it's time to motor her up let's do it here we go let's see what she sounds like Is quiet. That's quieter than I expected. Really. Wow. All right, so we put in one and a quarter quarts of gear lube and uh, we tightened it down fully to check the dipstick. You tighten it all the way down, you back it off. The seal looked good, everything looks good. So uh, we'll get some feedback from Alex later. We're gonna start her up again, check the oil. Oil looks great. And it really meant a lot for you to be a part of the channel, Alex. Thank you. Thanks for being a huge part of the channel. You're a good man, good man. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw some other uh, vehicles that are similar to this. We got the motorcycles, we'll throw that up at the top. And down here at the bottom, we'll throw the playlist to some engine flushes. So you can always flush this and uh, that pretty much sums it up. We'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.